Hello guys, welcome back to another Call to Arms video. Uh, I have set up this battle on a map I made myself, so it's not really that good of a map. But it does the job for this mission. So, we have lots of GRM infantry, a reinforcement GRM troop transport, um, some more GRM infantry up here, two GRM technicals, two helicopters that get called in when those technicals get destroyed, and if all the GRM infantry get destroyed, then these five helicopters get called in, but I only think the game calls in like two. I don't know why the game does that. And on the American side, we have a striker and fortifications, just a standard 50 cal striker, a Mat V in fortifications with a 50 cal, and another Mat V in fortifications with a 50 cal. We also have two machine guns facing each direction, and we have plenty of U.S. Army Rangers with hedgehogs, Hesco barriers, and just about everything else. So, let's get into it.
So, um, there's two JRM infantry left alive. Um, the AI doesn't really want to take them out, so I'm just going to take them out for them, and I just ran over my high school barriers. Um, so I'm just going to take out these JRM infantry here just so the match can continue, and then we. And then the first thing I see is a bunch of heroes falling in the sky. Okay. They keep crashing into each other, stop it. Now I figured out what keeps them from the helicopter. Okay, so, um, that was actually pretty funny, just like four heroes crashed into each other. Previously, I tried running the simulation, and like, the first wave of helicopters just like crashed into each other right here, trying to go off the map. It was funny, they, they never got to make their second gun run, but... Anyways, these, now I figured out what keeps happening to these helicopters. They're too close to each other. The high value individual was able to make it out alive. This white ranger here. Uh, the US took small amounts of casualties. Uh, that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The U.S. Army Rangers took nine casualties, while the GRM took a lot of casualties so that I don't feel like counting. They also lost four helicopters by accident. The GRM troop transport, the troops were not able to make it out alive, and these two technicals here. So, uh, time for the battle breakdown, so let me just finish the match. Okay, so, uh, I'm back in the editor. So, for these technicals here, these two trucks, I have a tag on them just titled GRM1. And then I have a waypoint set up called GRM1, and it just goes from here to here. And then I have a trigger set up, GRM1, and it just says actor to waypoint, GRM1, and then just saying the waypoint to zero, and then approach force. That's pretty much how I got those technicals set up. For the helicopters, the helicopters, since they're really, since they meant to spawn in after something gets destroyed, I gave them the tag of GRM2 and then hidden. So they have one tag called GRM2 and then another tag called hidden. And then I have a waypoint set up called GRM2. It just goes from here to off the map here to four to five right here. And then at, I don't believe I actually have anything scripted to do anything. I might have at waypoint two. Mm, nope. Oh, I do have a delete command at waypoint five to avoid the helicopters from crashing into each other or just not going off the map completely. And the way I got them set up to automatically unhide is by doing entities and then just saying the mode to work. Uh, GRM1 for the selector, if the type is a vehicle and it is operable, and we need to check if that is less than or equal to zero. So if the amount of vehicles that can move is less than or equal to zero, then we would remove the hidden tag from these helicopters here, so GRM2, and then we would say actor to waypoint the helicopters to waypoint 2, and then just approach force, and then we would want the helicopters to go into an assault position. So that does it for the helicopters. The troop transport, I believe, is GRM3. So I just have a tag called GRM3. A waypoint and a tag called GRM3. I just have it follow this path here. Uh, the troop transport goes to 6, 9, and then 10. I forgot what happened to the other waypoints. Um, and then anyways, I have the troop transport. So I just use the waypoint selector. Admit all its crew, and then once it's done manning all its crew, I make it no longer invincible. So that's pretty much it. 
And then just to start the thing, I have actor to waypoint. The actor is GRM3 to waypoint 6 and approach force. You'll just see approach force a lot in this video. And in a lot of matches anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And then for GRM4, so these uh, bombing run of helicopters, I have a waypoint set up and just called it GRM4. We also have a tag sub called GRM4. Not much happens with these. Uh, pretty much just the same thing that happens for these uh, reinforcement helicopters up here. So we just check if all the GRM entities are dead. If the amount of GRM infantry that are not dead is less than or equal to zero, and then we remove the hidden tag, and then just say actor to waypoint seven, and then just say entity state, and we remove the hidden tag. So that's pretty much the battle breakdown. Um, not really much happens on the United States side. They're just in a defensive position. It did take me a little bit to set up these fortifications. This is a really elaborate fortification setup, as you can see here. They have like tank traps, um, anti-infantry barriers, sandbags, HESCO barriers, just everything. So if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Helps out the channel, helps get videos like this recommended to others. Thanks for watching. Fun Huber, out.